right, so when you open SPSS, you will see this um, display. And what you see here is uh, it looks similar to an Excel spreadsheet. But what we have is a tab down here at the bottom. And if you have a Mac, it, I think it will be in the middle down here. But we have data view and variable view. In data view, this is where you can type in your actual data. Uh, in variable view, here is where you give the variable its name, and then you can specify uh, things about those variables depending on the type of uh, variable you have. So, the first thing I want to do is show you how to input data and make a histogram. So, here we have uh, an assignment. It says, creating a histogram in SPSS, a researcher was studying the amount of blood, blood platelets in females. She found the following levels. Please display them in a histogram. And these uh, counts are in thousands, but I just w want to do the first uh, hundred. So there are 15 numbers here, and we're going to go ahead. Oops. Let me do this so that I can have them side by side. There we go. All right, so 157, I just hit the down button, 246, 330, 403, 375, 76. I often talk to myself when I enter data. 457. Okay, so I have, yes, I have 15, and there are 15 here. Alright, so you see this says var1. Let's go to variable view, and we can give this a name. Platelet underscore count. Why did I do an underscore? Because SPSS will not let you use a dash or a space. It also will not let you name a variable with a leading number. This type of, of uh, count is definitely numeric, right? We have all of these options here, but because it recognized those numbers as numbers, it appropriately named it numeric. The reason why we have this is when you download data from some other source, it may come in as a different way. String means if it's a word, and we can tell it different things. So I'm just going to say OK, and you may have noticed how I got that. See these little dots? That wasn't there. They're, they don't show up, and they're not there, but you just have to know, and I'm telling you, that when you hover your cursor over the right-hand side of any of these in the variable view, if you do it on the right hand side, these little button will these little dots and this little button will show up and you can get a dialog box. Um, the other place is values and you can have value labels and we'll talk about that in another video. So okay, so I have my data view. I'm gonna go back to data view. And in SPSS if you look down here I have an output page and the data page. And if you look across the top, file, edit, view, data, transform, etc. I go here, file, edit, view, data, transform, etc. All the same options. You can do both from either the data page or from the output page. Since we've entered our data and we're interested in looking at the histogram, I'm going to do it from the output page. I'm going to go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies, now I have this dialog box. This is the list of um, variables, and then this is kind of the action box, right? Whatever I move over here is what I'm going to be doing the statistics to, or the descriptive, descriptive statistics to. So I've got this highlighted. There's only one variable. I click this button, and it moves over here. If I made a mistake and want to move it back, I could do it, or I could just drag it and drop it. It says it auto-populated display frequency tables. That's fine. I could turn it off, but then it says, wait, you haven't asked for any output. So it's fine. I'm just going to leave it like that. What I want is charts. So I'm going to go into what I did was I let me start over. I moved the variable into the active box. This was already checked. I'm going to leave it. 
I'm going to go, I don't care about statistics right now, I'm going to go to charts and I'm going to pick histogram. I'm going to do it two times. I'm going to do it the first time without the normal curve and then another time with it. So I'm going to say continue and I'm going to say OK. Now because that little checkbox was checked, this tells me there's one count where it was 100, there's another count where it was 119, another count where it was 157. There were no counts that were double, right? So then here's my normal, um, my histogram, okay? I would say this is slightly right skewed because the tail is to the right, okay? Now, let's do it again, and I can go to this box here. This is called Recall Recently Used Dialogues. I've done a bunch of things on this computer, but the last thing I did was a frequencies. Brings me right where I was. Everything's been checked. I'm going to go to Charts, and I'm going to say, let's look at the normal curve on this histogram. I'm going to say Continue. I'm going to say OK. We're going to get the same output, but this time, I've got the normal curve laid over it, right? It's not perfect. This is sub subjective. But uh, you can see that there's more of a right skew for this um, distribution. And that's how you do it. Thanks.